damn your army. Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the Black Dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger. Knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise. King Henselt awaits you, Witcher. At last. Have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr, and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution, I was on that hill. I'll show you.
flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse, combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did, but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, Your Majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Find the raven's corpse, Your Majesty. Now towards the burnt tree. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Head towards the black candles, your majesty. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, your majesty. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire. Form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire's a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots! Stay in the circle, Your Majesty. The powder reeks of dwarven dung. Soldiers, Your Majesty. They're scared of ghosts as we all are. Curses, there's hundreds of them! 
Calm down, Your Majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. Spectres could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, Your Majesty. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Let it be so by blood and fire! Yet the shooting star split the heavens and work its mortal journey with a trail of blood! Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold! Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules! and the power of fire devouring air by the charred bones of the innocent. Let the prophecy be fulfilled! You will die in accordance with my prophecy. You cannot escape your fate. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire. Let it be so by blood and fire. A shooting star split the heavens and work its mortal journey with a trail of blood. Let fools be choked by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules. And power of air by the charred bones of the innocent. Let the prophecy be fulfilled. With my prophecy, you cannot escape your fate. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire, let it be so. By blood and fire, split the heavens. Now, Your Majesty. It worked. Are you sure? All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern. I've separated you from the curse, but it remains active and powerful. The Spectres of the Fallen continue to fight in the fields outside Vergen. You'll find a way, like you did with that charcoal slot. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you, and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Deathmole told me. I'll give you the medallion. First, I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it!
bit scared of going against the same. The enemy have fed you their propaganda. Ah, but what if you do? Ah, don't worry about it. Yeah? You're the quartermaster's assistant? Yeah. Great. I want to see the best equipment you have. I've got the coin. The army stands to gain, not lose by me. I should think so. So? Witcher. Seems we'll be slaughtered. How to make from Rivia? What they kill them. The king is occupied. Return after sundown. Get a hold of yourself. I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Adania arrived this morning. Read. The King of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedrig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Due to the tragic death of Prince Busi, his sister Anais will inherit the Temerian crown. Witcher, you fought in the battles for the Lavalette's fortress. Tell me, how old is this princess? She's too young to rule. Remind me, who's her mother? Anais's bastard offspring. That's it. Bastards cannot be heirs. If you counted all the bastards I begat, I could fill all the thrones of the North. What the hell's going on? Guards! Are they? They wanted to kill me. Me! Ha! The scum. Witcher, we must talk. Deathmold said you needed this medallion. You saved my life, and I'm not nearly as ungrateful as some might say. 
You'll receive the pendant in due time. Pity none could be taken alive. Don't fret, Tanzerville. There are ways to make a dead man speak. I know those methods. Necromancy is forbidden. In the absence of the Council and the Conclave, it's hard to know what is forbidden. What would you say, Your Majesty? I want to know everything. Plow that corpse if you have to. Do anything it takes. Necromancy, Your Majesty, is a branch of magic. I don't care. Do as you're told. Count me out. Ah, as the common folks say, be at ease, the woman's gone. I'll need your help, Witcher. You know where to find me. It's never ending. I'm the bloody king, but she mumps and sulks like some common servant was trying to grope her. Not every sorcerer is like Deathmold. Many don't like messing with corpses. As long as she's in my camp, she'll do as I say. Go. Deathmold is probably biting his nails in anticipation. Geralt of Rivia, ready for the ride of your life. Can't handle this without me? You're a mutant, like this killer. An ordinary man would never survive Han Marvin's blue dream. You must drink a potion that will increase your heart's efficiency and strengthen your blood vessels. Hallucinogenic properties are also welcome, as they will enhance the vision. Gadwall should do it. Necromancy's awfully fishy. What do you aim to do? Han Marvin's Blue Dream is a spell that grants you a glimpse of a dead man's memories. You'll see, feel, and taste what the killer experienced in his life. As a mutant, the operation isn't at all dangerous for you. You look your normal self. Have you had your fill of fortifying potions? It would be foolish if you died due to a simple oversight. Not just yet. I need to prepare. Gadwall should do it. I'm ready. Wonderful. The Blue Dream can be very useful, although it only lets you see the killer's recent past. Hope it's worth it. Pay attention to every detail, places, names, everything. Got it. Let's begin! Vekina Zanzala! I nearly got lost in that fog. Look at it this way. Nobody will find us here. Unless Henselt attacks Bergen despite the mist. Henselt's not going to attack anyone ever again. 
always the odds. Hensel behaves as if he wants to help us. What do you mean? You've seen him. He loves playing the soldier. He's everywhere. He's reckless. That fellow want him assassinated, like the others. Finally, some action. We've been skulking in these caves like bats. Rather be like a bat, slain by the king's mercenaries. What is it, Ox? Scared? I heard Death Bolt never lets Hensel out of his sight, and now a witch has arrived in their camp. One of him, three of us. I know who it is. I know, damn it, but don't let it get to you. It's Triss Marigold who worries me. If she betrays that Sheila ordered us to get rid of Demervend, things will get out of hand. Letho should kill her. He should, but apparently he only kills kings. Here at last. They're guarding the camp like it was a princess's chastity. Did you learn anything? The White Wolf has arrived at the Ketwini camp with Vernon Roach. Looks like he's Hensult's lackey now. I'd rather Hensult used others as his lackeys. With his amnesia, we're safe. Not so. That's exactly what makes him so dangerous. We have to be careful. Especially now we've broken off with Yorbeth and his bunch. There's something else. Sheila de Tanzerville. You're right. Our sorceress is playing hard. De Tanzerville has done her job. We don't need her anymore. We won't kill her. Not just yet. You know best. That's right. The main thing now is to get rid of Hansen. You'll go soon. What about you? I'm heading to Loch Nguyen. That's where things will be decided. We'll meet again soon, if you're careful. To drink a jug of wine and laugh about it? Who knows? I'll take the palisade. We'll meet by the cave entrance. And I heard you stashed some of the duty in the caves near the camp. Quiet! Do you want everyone else to know? I don't know who told you, but you'll get your share if you keep your trap shut. Is it a deal? Fuck, I suppose so. Well, go tell the others. Wake up! I'm dying to hear everything. What did you find out? 
They said Sheila de Tanzerville was an accomplice in the murder. Sheila? She was here while you were lying in a trance. She said she'd follow the second assassin. Do you remember anything else? They're hiding in the ravines. The other ones probably fled there. Our dead man should have a key on him. Do you remember anything else? There's no time to waste. I'll follow them. Good luck, Geralt.
medallions vibrating. Serret. Sheila knew. She wants to destroy the evidence. What evidence? We didn't want to leave you. What are you talking about? Nearly made it. Just think. The wild hunt. We could have freed the world of the omen of war. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. A high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Yuruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer.
Audrin! Audrin, where are you? You'll meet your match. Did you get him? Sheila got to him first. He's dead. The bitch! She's probably on the other side of the mist by now. Come on, Witcher. We've got to remove that damn curse. I got the medallion from the king, the one you were looking for. Here. Learn anything new about the curse? The mage on the other side of the fog is also probing the battlefield. A sorceress. How do you know? You shall know them by the fruit of their spells. Magic differs with the brain type that generates it. The female mind is simply laid out differently. It could be Triss. No, Witcher, it's someone far more powerful. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good- Give me a- Ah, that is- I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Then there is a chance we will soon move against Edern, and you will recover your memory. I'll need your help, sorcerer, to find the right ghosts. Ah, they will find you. The artifact's aura will lure them. Allow them to think, speak, and act. Then you will know what to do. Geralt, there's something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It's changed. A drog. I expected as much. Ah. Good luck, Witcher. To wait, slaughter the cat when he must. Wait, time's not right. Sometimes I forget what we're thinking for. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why do Damavend and Henselt's duels to settle things? My brother in law is from Kedwin, a decent fellow. Once I was at a market there. Quality goods, cheaper than our merchants, too. Bloody hell, shut it! Every Kedwin is a bastard. You know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn, and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Horse and sea! Autumn! No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Get them! Catch on the enemy standard!
standards in enemy hands. We're sitting ducks here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. Time to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands. in the battlefield, Captain. Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was cleared by day. Lady Glephysic scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hold. And you, Glephysic, I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too, and... I've finished talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle! My lords, to your battles! Enter the fray! Maybe you finished with me, but that doesn't mean I finished with you. Nadovesavek. How can we help you, Sabrina? My place at Hemsel's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hemsel from taking Upper Edda. The balance of power in the north will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. That's all you've got? You're dying fast, like roaches under my boot. Is there a kid winning to match? Sell Kirk of Gallic on this field.
visitor! I've long awaited this meeting! Leave, Ghost. I'll not give up an opportunity to duel Van der Grift. He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave! This is a task for a Witcher, not a knight. I do this solely for my death. Mercy. You have failed me! Who are you? <laughs> Your nightmare! Archers! Chase! How many more can there be? Shays! Come <laughs> on. 
Jesus! Should have stayed at home, Van der Grift. First mages to die after such a victory. Gods, we can't fight such sorcery. Sorcerers hail unclean fire. We're doomed. Why are they doing this? As the prophecy say, and the time will come when sorceresses turn on men. Flaming balls rain from the sky, and destruction will be unleashed. What should we do? Wait here for death! I shall lead you as a shepherd leads his flock, safely from the dark abyss! Save us, sire! Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, your majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, Lormark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. Brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle was lost. You put me to shame before them of end. His troops fought like men of honor should, to the end. Sabrina Glevesig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn the stake. I will return to claim my birthright. July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man, can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't die there, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Hmm. Finally awake? Where are we? In one of the safest places in the camp, my friend. The brothel? Mm-hmm. How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields, unconscious. The fog? Gone. Three days ago. Three days? You sure? Mm-hmm. In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Did you come here to fuck? You gotta be kidding! My friend on his deathbed? I, I couldn't possibly do that! Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. Cedric was right. The power within the battle of specters restores memory. Ah! So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the Wild Hunt. Who? 
Letho, Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the wild hunt. I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads, you drove off the fog of specters. Henselt learned of the plot against him and Deathmold lost it completely. What did you mean when you said the Deathmolds lost it? Henselt chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Deathmold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah, he always goes back to what he does best. Why has Henselt waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard and that they'll get lands in the Pontar Valley. Henselt's agreed. Not on your life. He blew up, roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeld, Kiram of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details. Though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. Haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion. There's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Deathmold finds out. Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. Damn it, Dandelion. Game's over. Can't you see that? When Deathmold finds you, you've got to go. Somewhere far from the Pontar Valley. All right. I'll do it for you. I'll go to Oxenford, say hello to some of our old friends. But just as soon as this blows over, I'll come looking for you. I know. We have unfinished business to take care of. What now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First, I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave, Dandelion. Hide, and I'll see you soon, old friend. <laughs>